morning, on. How are you doing? I'm good. Yesterday, uh, I had to double take at what I was looking at because it was a huge, huge story that we broke here on KFM. Nace Rugby Club pulling off a major coup with the signing of former Ireland and Lions forward Sean O'Brien. Of course, the uh, Tullow Tank. Tell us how this came about, Johnny. Um, well, I suppose it kind of all started um, from uh, Sean not being able to... Uh, uh, play for Tullow. Uh, Sean Camomi is coaching in Tullow uh, at the moment, and then um, you know his he he wanted to um, to uh, to go back and play for them, uh, play for a couple of years for them there as home club, and you know where he go, grew up playing. I suppose it was quite similar in the connection for, for myself when I retired. I went back and I played for um, played for Ellistown. I suppose it's just a different sport. So to go back where it all started was. What, what appealed to Sean and, and then under IRFU guidelines, a uh, professional um, is not allowed, an ex-professional is not allowed to play for uh, junior rugby uh, for two years um, until two years after they retire. So uh, Sean and I would have played together and obviously against each other quite a lot. So um, got in, he, we got in contact with each other um, last week just around that and he said he was keen to play um, the location suits him. It's on his way home from work. He's um, a professional coach up in uh, in Leinster at the moment. He's our contact coach. Um, so it just kind of fit, it kind of fitted for everyone, I suppose. His ultimate goal is still to go back and and play for Tullow um, in that after that two year two year period. So he probably felt that you know he needed to keep his body moving if he wanted to do that over the next kind of eight eighteen months to two years and and. Um, we were the lucky club that were able to avail of his, uh, of his services. Yeah, I think it's great. And look, he's he's 35 years of age now and it's important to point out that he's made it very, very clear that it, this is a playing role that he's taking up with Nace. He's not coming in as kind of a, a player coach or will just, you know, line out and, and fill up the numbers. He, he still has that drive to be a, a major force within the squad. Ah, he does, yeah, and, uh, and I suppose there's a couple of things on that. We we've got a very good squad, I suppose, as we showed last year, um, and you know the the luxury of kind of roll on, roll off subs for us. We have twelve to thirteen interchanges uh, throughout the eighteen minutes. So um, you know, I think w- with all of that, um, it kind of suits kind of where Sean's at, where his body's at, um, but his experience uh, across the board is just going to be immense for everyone in in the club. You know, it's going to push me to be better as a coach, push our forwards coach, Andy Carney, who's homegrown, um, you know, to be better as a coach. And everyone within the squad and, and, and the greater club is going to benefit from this. So it's... Um, but he still has... You know, he still has the grow and, and the want to play and play at a, at a, at a, you know, play at a high level, um, and I think that's that's really important. So, you know, we're we're definitely going to benefit from that throughout the season. Yeah, his CV speaks for itself. At Leinster, he helped the team win four European titles. He was named ERC European Player of the Year for the 2010-2011 season. On leaving Leinster, he played three seasons for London Irish. Internationally, he played for Ireland for ten years. Two twice with the Lions in 2013 and 2017. He was one of five players shortlisted from the 24 Heineken Cup and 20 Amlin Challenge Cup teams that include our Leinster teammates and Nace's Jamie Heaslip and Issa Nasewa. He was ranked by the IRB among the five best players at the 2011 Rugby World Cup. And it's a good story as well, Johnny, in the sense that Sean O'Brien would have started off his career in the AIL ranks and he's returning now to where that all began. Uh, yeah, but I think that's also another connection that Sean and I would have. Um, you know, Sean came up through the youths and then went on to AIL. Um, from there, I suppose I, I went to Newbridge College, but, you know, my I wasn't in the Leinster system. You know, I played Leinster 21s as I was back then, but that was because of my involvement in the club game in the AIL. Um, and I think we both have, we both have that that connection with the club game because it it gave us it gave us our chance and and kind of catapulted us you know into the into that professional ranks and to be able to come back and and play in the AIL for me was brilliant and you know I started and finished in the AIL um and I think that's a, that's something that I'm very very proud of because it's a great competition probably doesn't get the due rewards that that it should 
but something like this and this I think is going to happen more often with the way rugby is now people coming back to the AIL it's a good thing for the AIL in general there'll be more people at the games home and away because they want to see Sean um, and I think when people do start coming down because people like Sean are coming back to the game uh, back to the AIL, uh, AIL it'll show what brand of rugby is being played and how entertaining it is and what a great day out it is for, you know, to go down and support your local club and uh, be around club members. So it, this is a, a good thing for Nace Rugby Club. It's a good thing for Division 1B. Um, but overall, when you look at it, it's a great thing for the AIL as a whole. Before we let you go then, Johnny, um, of course, Nace in action tomorrow at home to Highfield as half past two in uh, four noughts. The first game of the season, uh, losing out to Old Wesley 37-7. But just looking down through the panel uh, of players that have been uh, announced for the game tomorrow, some fantastic players already that you have in that squad. And Sean O'Brien will add to that. But the likes of uh, Craig Ronaldson, Conor Halpenny, Ryan Casey, Will O'Brien, Paul Monaghan, etc., some great players for the club down through the years. Yeah, exactly. You know, and I think we have that nice uh, balance of kind of youth and um, and experience there with someone like Craig that has you know been there and done it with Connacht and you know won a pro pro fourteen with them. Um, you know, I think we we have a nice balance. <laughs> Last week certainly didn't go according to plan. It was quite a surprise after the preseason we had, but uh, we got to work this week and um, hopefully you know Sean signing was the energy boost. You know, a kick you know, um, uh, that we needed this week. Highfield are a tough side. They finished second last year. So um, we'll be up against it. But I, I think, it. Um, you know, hopefully we can get the, the show back on the road and, and kick on. You know, we have ambitions to be where we were um, last season. And I think it's important the lads go out and show that. So Sean will be down training from Tuesday on. So we'll see and we'll manage his involvement as, uh, as we go forward from there. But yeah, tomorrow, first job first. Hopefully get a, a start the season with a nice home win and then uh, kick on from there. Super stuff. Game kicks off at half past two in four knots. Jim Casey will have live updates of the game between Nace and Highfield tomorrow on Sportsbeat and Johnny Murphy, the head coach of Nace Rugby Club. Thanks for joining us and the very best of luck in the game tomorrow and the best of luck to Sean O'Brien, 